So let's continue Z-test hypothesis testing. So look at this example. The U.S. Department of Agriculture claimed that the mean cost of raising a child from birth to age two by husband-wife families in the U.S. is $13,120. A random sample of 500 children has a mean cost of $12,925 with a standard deviation of $1,745 and R5.05, is there enough evidence to reject the claim? Okay. So when you look at this question, um, does this statement represent one tail test or two tail test? So as I keep on uh, emphasizing one tail test, Include uh, inequality phrases such as uh, less than, more than, maybe at least, or at most like that. But do you see this kind of a phrase? No, it just shows that is $13,120. So it is obviously two tail. And the is means equal. So equal means HO, right? So now we can make H O mu equal to thirteen thousand one twenty, and then H A mu is not equal to thirteen thousand one twenty, because this time um, the hypothesis testing doesn't show the direction, so we just make a equal or not equal, and then there will be their claim. Okay, so now. Let's collect all the known information so I can find out n equal to 500. So from here, and then sample mean is $12,925. And then the standard deviation s equal sigma become 1745. And then alpha equal to 0.05. Okay. So this time we are using Z test, so we need to find corresponding Z score of this alpha. Okay, so I'm gonna look at T table again and find the corresponding alpha uh, Z score of the alpha value. So this time we are talking about two tail. So two tail is on this row here. Okay, where is the point zero five? Yes, point zero five is right here. Now we're going down because the larger sample case we are looking at only the infinite symbol row, then it becomes 1.96. Okay, therefore, now if I do the normal curve here, and I can make this is the negative 1.96, and then 1.96 here, and center become. H O T two tail become H A. Okay, because two tail, so that Z score must be both direction. One is negative, the other one positive. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, then let's find out Z score of the sample. So Z equal to twelve thousand nine hundred twenty-five minus. 13,120 over 1,745 over square root 500. Then we got the z score. So negative 2.498, something like that. So we can make 2.50. So negative 2.50. That will be our sample z score. Okay, now I'm gonna bring this down to here. Okay, so negative 2.50. Okay, where this z score is located is before negative 1.96 or between negative 1.96 and 1.96 or above 1.96. Yes, this one. Is include here basically because 
it is smaller z-score compared to negative 1.96. Therefore, this our sample z-score is belongs to 1 part of HA. If sample z-score is belongs to HA, we reject HO. Okay? So, now we can conclude. Reject HO. Now, where was the claim? Claim was on HO. Therefore, claim was HO and then we reject HO. Therefore, we can say there is enough evidence to reject the claim. Okay? So, answer becomes there is enough evidence to reject the claim. That will be the answer for this problem.